Hey guys, I am Tosha Boy, and you should know that all you are last today. We are watching The Flash Season 1, Episode 4. Without further ado, let's just carry on on this magical adventure. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Well, it's not Superman, considering, you know, Superman doesn't exist in this universe yet. But maybe Supergirl will. Hmm. What does the fastest man alive do on his day off? Before the lightning bolt, if I wasn't still at the crime lab, I'd be at home, chilling. But now my days off are different. Now they aren't so lonely. The lightning didn't just give me speed. It also gave me friends. This isn't even remotely anatomically correct. <laughs> That's not the point, Dr. Snow. <laughs> then what is the point? To have fun. And to continue your ongoing oh, training. Oh, so he's like, like me, so I need to be struck by lightning and get abs and get friends. To multitask. <laughs> I'm waiting on you, Dr. Wells. <laughs> like it. Thought I would bring Central City's finest Java over to Central City's finest. Thanks, I'm off caffeine. <laughs> you're still in trouble. Dad's been mad at me ever since I told him about me and Eddie. No, you mean he's mad at you because you didn't tell him. Uh, first, that sounds like you're taking his side. And second, do you know how he does this whole I'm not talking to you, but I have a whole bag full of judgmental looks I'm going to try out on you later? Yes. Yeah, I've been on the receiving end of those a few times. Speaking of communications, or lack thereof, mm -hmm. after all of these journalism classes, I got an idea. Huh. I started a blog. All right, what's it about? Your brownie obsession? Because you know you probably shouldn't broadcast that. No, something important. Something that Central City needs to know about. The streak. He's out there, Barry. Rumor has it he stopped an armed car robbery earlier. I was hoping that I could take a look at the file well, and... I'm not at liberty to discuss an ongoing police investigation. <laughs> since when, Mr. Blabbermouth? Take it from someone who's been investigating the impossible since they were 11. Blogging about this? It's only gonna bring the craziest to your front door. My blog is anonymous. Right, well, anonymous or not, it's not safe. You never know what kind of weirdos are out there trolling on the internet. Nice, very I can vouch for that. The internet is full of weirdos and nerd rage. Felicity! Nerd rage. <laughs> Hi. Felicity Smoke. Iris West. Barry Allen. <laughs> but you both already knew that. <laughs> Felicity is. The girl that you met in Sterling City, the computer, right? You two worked on one of Barry's unexplainable cases. Which, long story short, is definitely explainable. <laughs> so the. Lightning? Looking through here? <laughs> Look at her. Yeah. Already deducing things. I do love Felicity. There's been some rumors the last few weeks. Uh, people seeing a red blur tearing through the streets. What the hell is. Didn't race over. Nah. Oliver told you? Honestly, I heard you two talking on that rooftop in Sterling City that night. <laughs> I want to see it. And by it, I mean your speed, in case you thought I was talking about something else, which I, which I was not. <laughs> uh, okay, you see that building? Uh-huh. Keep your eyes on it. Took a picture of me? <laughs> From the top of that building? Yeah. Don't Instagram that. Unbelievable. <laughs> Your shoes are smoking! <laughs> no, that, that's fine. It's, it happens sometimes. That's why I have a friction proof suit. Where did you get that? I'll show you. Caitlin and Cisco.
woman had nothing to do with this. I built the gun. You did? Why? Because speed and cold are opposites. Temperature is measured by how quickly the atoms of something are oscillating. The faster they are, the hotter it is. And when things are cold, they're slower on the atomic level. When there's no movement at all, it's called absolute zero. Yeah. Yeah. I designed a compact cryo engine to achieve absolute zero. I built it to stop you. I, 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 I didn't know who you were then, Perry. I, I mean, what if you turned out to be some psycho, like Martin or Nimbus? But I didn't. Did I? We built the entire structure you're standing in to do good, and it blew up. In the wake of that, you can understand why Cisco would want to be prepared for the worst. I can understand that, but what I can't understand is why you didn't tell me what you did. I mean, after all we've been through, I thought you trusted me. I thought we were friends. We are, Barry. Th I mean, if you had just told me, I could have been prepared. But instead, someone died tonight. And I have to live with that. No, Cisco. We all do. regulates air to fuel ratio so the subcooled fluid in the chambers don't overflow and explode right this ecu was receiving updates wirelessly from my tablet if i boost the signal using central city's network and send a false update we'll get a ping back and then we can locate snart how long will it take uh first i have to hack into the city's network so i don't know 30 minutes maybe i can do it in less than one when it comes to hacking i'm the fastest woman alive Oh, that was not as badass as I pictured. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Are you kidding? All right, I'm sending the updates. We're connected. Network is triangulating the location. We got him. He's heading She's west on the train computer. station. If he's leaving, it appears Mr. Snart may have gotten what he came for. When we put our minds to it, dude, nothing can stop us. Oh, you turned your earpiece off. How are we going to talk to each other? I don't feel like talking right now. You're out past your bedtime. <laughs> if you wanted to get away, you should have taken something faster than a train. That's if I wanted to get away. Ooh. I've seen your weakness. At the armored car, then at the theater. See, while you're busy saving everybody, I'll be saving myself. Oh, shit. That was pretty badass. Jesus. Oh, holy crap. That is cool. Oh my God. First time for everything, Captain Cold. <laughs> I will shoot you. You win, kid. I'll see you around. Hey, leave the diamond. Don't push your luck. <laughs> He's a badass. <laughs> I couldn't shoot him if I wanted to. This is actually the Star Labs vacuum cleaner. <laughs> With a lot of LEDs. Get you warm. Thank you. It's kind of nice knowing there's a villain out there still. We've been trying to track Especially Snart. Especially one out of prison break. He must have disconnected the signal somehow. We'll find him, Cisco. Together. 
Aww. You have a great team here, Barry. Speaking of teams, I should probably get back to mine. It was nice meeting you, Miss Smoke. Please extend a hello to the Arrow for us. I will. Bye, Felicity. Bye, Barry. Aww. Remarkable young woman. She's special. Yeah, she is. Cisco. Don't you ever do anything like that again. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. The way you linger on her when she isn't looking. Hmm. The smile you fake to play the part. The quiet dreams you keep to yourself. Like you and Oliver. <laughs> takes one to know one. <laughs> I'm afraid it'll change everything. It will. Maybe that's not such a bad thing. What is wrong with us? We are perfectly perfect for each other. It's well, very true. We're sitting here pining for people we can't have. Guess what they say is true. Opposites do attract. If you ever need anything, I will race over in a heartbeat. Same. Well, as fast as I can run. Which might take me a while, but I will still come. <laughs> Bye for listening. It's more like a friendship kiss, kind of like it. Yeah, it is. It's more like. How two friends would kiss each other to you know all that special bond, yeah. Yeah, I like that. I thought it was good. No? It's not over. I know it's been a while since we pulled that job. I know it didn't go so well for you. And I know I said we were finished, but things have changed. If I want to keep working in Central City, I'm gonna need a new kind of crew. I'm gonna need someone like you. You're tolerant of extremes, you have certain skills. You just need some direction. And I can give that to you. You still like playing with fire? You're gonna love this. Oh, the liquid so, fire thing. Are you in, Mick? Or are you out? <laughs> yeah, buddy. I'm in. Yay! I'm not sure I should be yaying actually. <laughs> Thank you for watching very much guys. That was once again another epic episode. Seriously, uh, it was so lovely to see Felicity here because you know, she doesn't get as much love as I think she deserves. She's such a great character and I know a lot of people were sort of in, in season 3 of Arrow um, are sort of like a bit off with Felicity apparently. And I think it's probably something to do with Oliver and Felicity but as we get into as I get into that I'll work out more. Um, next up, we have two episodes of Arrow before we come back to The Flash, because that's how it aired, so that's how we'll watch it. Thank you for watching, I will see you very shortly. I love you all. Bye-bye.